Education in Tibet has developed significantly in recent years. Students there are not only receiving free education, many are also receiving free food, school uniforms, stationery, and the dormitory accommodation. Xie Zheng visited one junior middle school in Lhasa. It's the last semester for Yang Ji at her junior middle school in Lhasa. The 16-year-old's parents are farmers, and her home is some 60 kilometers away from Lhasa. She joined more than 600 others as a boarding student three years ago. Now, as the top student and head of her class, she is the pride of her parents and teachers. My dream is to become a dancer someday. I love singing and dancing. Yang Ji's dream wouldn't come true had it not been the government subsidies she and her schoolmates enjoy. More than 600 of the school's 700 students are from remote rural areas. The school provides free meals, a dormitory, school uniforms, books, and stationery for these students. This is the case for all primary and junior middle schools in Lhasa. The policy has been in place for more than 20 years. Education in Tibet has the most favorable policies, and the biggest investment is from the central and local governments. All cost for students from rural areas are taken care of by the government. As far as I know, Tibet is the only such case in China. Subsidies for rural students began in the 1980s. But it was not until 1998 that this school started to enroll boarding students. Teachers say real improvements began five years ago after education authorities increased spending. The school has a computer room, libraries and laboratories. The dining halls provide meals of three dishes and soup for lunch. Teachers keep a close eye on the students to make sure the food is safe and nutritious. But they do not eat here as the government budget only covers the students. Lessons are taught in both Tibetan and Chinese, and Tibetan language instruction is mandatory. More than half of the school's 61 teachers are Tibetans. Teachers say they want their students to have a mastery of both languages so they will be ready to cope with a developing society. Our students' scores are not very good when they enter the school since most can't read and write. But when they graduate, they're not only good at the Tibetan language course, their overall scores rank among the top of all Lhasa middle schools. Language is no longer a problem for Yang Ji. But as she is graduating in only months, the most important thing now is to secure a place in the best senior high school in the city. Starting in September, senior high schools in Lhasa will also provide free meals, dormitories and stationery. That means Yang Ji doesn't have to worry about money for further schooling. Since she enjoys going to school so much, she often dreams of the day that she will enter college. Xie Zhengzi Gang, CCTV, Lhasa.